Thank you, Sarah. Well, kids these days, they want their space. We get it. But you might want to have them show you exactly which apps they've got on their smartphones and tablets sooner rather than later. Pedophiles are not driving the white vans through the neighborhood anymore. They're getting their victims from, from social media. More specifically, adult dating apps. Being an IT professional, uh, you think that you know everything. My stepdaughter got a hold of Tinder and uh, was talking to uh, grown men across the country. Anybody can download them as long as they put the right age appropriate information in. Burton compiled a list of the top six apps that you need to watch out for on your child's phone. First up, Meet Me. Literally. The idea with Meet Me is that you're supposed to hook up with people that are in your area. How about Badoo, another location based app? The bad thing about Badoo is that within the app, there's a lot of uh, sexual imagery and a lot of sexual chat. Next, Scout. One of the good things about Scout is that they have a teen only uh, area. Uh, the bad thing about that is that, again, there's no really age verification process with the adult side or the teenager side. Here's a popular one. Tinder. Tinder has um, a lot of um, sexual imagery, photo based app. Uh, both uh, teens and adults can log on. So, are you hot or are you not? Hot or Not is an app that's uh, photo based where people judge uh, photos online. If you connect with somebody on Hot or Not, you can open up a dialogue between the person you think that's hot. A Meagle slogan talk to strangers. A Meagle shares. Personal information such as uh, address, zip code. Uh, in fact, I think it's required to log on to the site. So, what do parents do? There are some providers like Verizon and Sprint that will allow you to block uh, app downloads. Having your child's password is not going to do you any good because these apps uh, aren't password restrictive. So it goes back to just physically getting your hands on the, your kid's smartphone to see what apps are physically installed to make sure that they're not doing things that could potentially harm them.